Okay, so 2023 for me has been a very interesting year when it comes to the golf bag. I've made a few changes, I've really enjoyed my golf and even had my best ever round. Recently, I've changed something to do with my golf bag and it has caused uproar in my comments. Stay tuned, there is a massive giveaway coming in this video. You're gonna to wanna to be a subscriber, you're gonna to wanna to like this video and you're going to want to comment Merry Christmas. The reason being, I wanna spread a bit of cheer in the comments because it can sometimes be a rather dark place. But today we are talking about a change I've made and it's not necessarily making me play better golf. It's not necessarily making me play worse golf but it's certainly making me enjoy my golf a lot more. And that after all is what golf is all about. So we're gonna play the first hole here at Woolley Park Golf Club and we'll talk through exactly what change I've made and why it's been such a hit in the comments. You see guys, I've been using a specific golf bag for quite a while now and I've recently changed to the Ojo All Elements Golf Bag and I love it. And just like these comments, a lot of you guys have been wondering what it is, where it's from, how many segments does it have, and how good is it to live with? That's exactly what we're gonna discuss in today's video, along with a huge giveaway. So guys, this is the Ojo All Elements Hybrid Bag, and I've really, really enjoyed it. I've been using a pencil bag for most of the year this year, and it drove a lot of you guys crazy that I was kind of not using a full set and just carrying it over one shoulder like somebody else I know. But I've actually taken into account that I have a bad back, so I've had a bad back for quite a while now. I had an operation when I was 21, so quite a long time ago, unfortunately now. It doesn't feel like that long ago, but it was. And by having a bag where it's spread out, a lot of people watching this video won't carry their golf clubs, especially if you're maybe playing golf in America where you play golf on a buggy or a cart most of the time. And even if you're here in the UK or Europe, you might have an electric trolley of some kind. But that's where, for me, this hybrid bag really has come into its own because it's lovely and spacious. It's not too heavy for when you do want to carry like days like today. Sometimes here in the UK, we do have carry only rules so you're not allowed to take any wheels onto the golf course because it just gets so wet the guys here at Woolley Park do a fantastic phenomenal job of getting the golf course open pretty much most of the time and I don't want to be that guy who's kind of taking buggies and stuff like that out there because I'm still young enough to carry and fit enough to walk around 18 holes arguably now what I really enjoy about this bag is and I can't believe I'm getting so excited about a bag but guys we are doing a huge giveaway as well so make sure you do hit that subscribe button throw a like on this video comment below Merry Christmas maybe invite a friend over to this video get them to subscribe as well but also go and follow OGO EU on Instagram this is the handle right here and we're going to make the draw with the rest of the giveaways for the best of 2003 series between Christmas and New Year I've really really enjoyed this bag it's been a little bit of a game changer for me because I feel like it's spread out a lot more and I don't feel like it's overly heavy like some carry bags generally have been over the last few years. I also think it's fair to say that it's quite a cool looking bag as well. A lot of people in the comments wonder what it is because what I actually like about, yes, it is OGO and the branding is on the side here, but it's very subtle. And if you didn't know kind of what OGO is, you wouldn't know. It doesn't say TaylorMade or Callaway or Mizuno all over it. It just got rather excited there, but it's Christmas next week. If you can't get excited now, when can you get excited? But I really enjoy that fact that it's more about kind of how it looks than the branding on it. I think a lot of people who go and buy new golf clubs, go and buy a new driver, sometimes go and match the bag with it and the towel with it and the umbrella with it. And I don't really get that. Whereas I've been using this bag for a while. I've also been using the OGO flight bag and luggage for years now. The old mutant bag that I used did over a quarter of a million air miles. And I've recently replaced it with this bad boy with pink donuts on it. So if it's coming around on the carousel, you know exactly whose it is, it's gonna be mine. So let's see if we can send one in here to the first hole. Guys, get in the comments below, what bag do you use? How many dividers does it have in it? Does it have two straps, one strap? Do you generally just throw it in a buggy and forget about it? I'll talk to you about the dividers in a second because initially I didn't used to like bags with this many dividers in it. But when you're carrying it and there's no chiming of your clubs whatsoever, the clubs aren't chipping away, I actually do quite like it. It makes a lot more sense than your clubs getting all dinged up and you don't need iron head covers. I would never have iron head covers anyway but you certainly don't need them with this bag. Be good. Oh, stop moving on the wind. Right, that is a chance for a birdie. Come on. 
So one of the big reasons why I changed to a big bag, and I spent a lot of time looking at different bags, looking at different brands. I always remember Ogeo as being the brand that made the bags, the brand that made the straps for the bags back in the day, which is why they were the kind of first people that I went to. You can see it's got lots of different dividers and holsters here. We can keep the putter separate, long irons, wedges, and then it actually has little kind of in-caves here for your shafts to sit so your clubs don't knock against each other. Lots of different clubs in here, and the reasoning for that is obviously I review clubs for a living. It's a very, very busy time of year for me coming up. I took this bag all the way to Dubai a couple of weeks ago, and we had the rain cover, which you get with it in the big side pocket here. The rain cover was over them all, so I was filming clubs that are under embargo. They're still top secret, and having something like this made it a lot easier, to be honest. And the fact that I knew they weren't going to get bumped around, they weren't going to get pranged around for me, is vital because if I'm going to show you guys the latest and greatest clubs of 2024, the last thing I want to do is A, let the cat out of the bag early and risk breaking an embargo, but also ruining the clubs that look so good right at the start of the year. So one of the things that I've really enjoyed about this bag is it has brought me a little bit more organisation to my life. I haven't actually used these, but you can see there are ball holders on there. I'm not a huge fan of that. I wouldn't probably use that anyway, but I can have my balls in there if I want. We do have a really nice kind of waterproof pocket here, a huge pocket for your golf balls. One of the huge anxieties of my life is that I might one day run out of golf balls on the course, so we can fit plenty in there. We have a very, very nice valuables pocket for your phone and your keys and everything like that. Not if you throw it on the floor like that though. And a huge pocket at the side for your waterproofs and for your cap and for all your training aids. So if you want to play organized golf, it could well be the bag for you. I better put all that back now. And like I said, one of the things I really enjoy about this bag and the travel bag that I've been using is the pattern on it. And I'm quite jovial with life. I don't take things too seriously, as you can probably tell. But there's loads of different patterns on this. I played golf with Peter Finch earlier in the year. He had the banana bag, so like a kind of turquoise bag with loads of bananas on it. Bit of fun, really, really enjoy it. Probably lightens the mood a little bit on the first tee when you're playing with people. And to be honest, when you are walking around airports and things like that. So it's nice to know there are different options available. If you go on the OGO social media, obviously go and follow them if you want a chance to win the giveaway. That's gonna be a bag and some luggage, I believe as well. So one lucky person is gonna be decked out with that. But go and find out what your favorite pattern is. Let us know in the comments what's your favorite pattern. And obviously having a stand bag does make things a lot easier when it comes to carrying 14 clubs around and trying to play your best golf. Right, can we hold this for birdie on the first hole here at Woolley Park Golf Club? And guys, I'm gonna be really interested to see just how this video goes down because I think this is the first time I've ever done a video on a bag, but the demand was there, so I've supplied it to you. I can't believe how many comments I've got where I just changed my golf bag and everyone was really kind of interested as to what it was, where it's from, what brand is it, what color is it, what style is it? So I wanted to bring it to you guys, and to be honest, if it's the best of 2023, the fact that it's caused such a stir massively helps that because if you guys want to see it, I want to bring it to you. This could be the last birdie of 2023. Go on, break. You've left it short for the last birdie. We're going to have to carry on playing now of 2023. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe button below. Get in the comments below and wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a fantastic time and an amazing new year. And go and check out the guys at Ogeo if you're in the market for a new golf bag. Apart from that, I'll see you all at exactly the same time tomorrow. Make sure you get amongst it for that giveaway because one of you is going to get very, very lucky this Christmas.